For several years now, I've had this pipe dream of opening my own little print shop. And while I've had one or two people, um, I guess customers, uh, basically people I know, um, and myself to serve in terms of print, I, you know, the print shop idea hasn't really left the ground as yet. I'm not saying it won't ever. And to that end, I get all sorts of sample packs and things sent to me. Um, I get the foreign print blue box sent to me at work, and I get these sample packs from uh, the printer that I'm not allowed to name. Uh, I don't know if I am allowed to name, actually. The trouble is, the printer that I use is for reseller purposes only, in theory. And if I go telling everybody who I get my print from, they're just going to go straight there in theory. So, I don't know. It's it's a bit of an odd business model. But whatever the case, um, samples. These are the sorts of samples that they send you. And then you can say to your customers, oh, look, here's what we can print. We can print for you uh, Christmas cards. Yeah, it's all Christmas related, despite the fact that we're only in mid-September. I suppose if you're doing Christmas print, now's the time to do it. Uh, yeah, so shiny... Um, here's the thing, if you want some print, <laughs> um, this is the sort of thing I can get for you. Uh, look, it's all it's all shiny around the edges. It feels, it's got a funny feel to it as well. Um, pretty standard inside. Uh, and you can get calendars. So I actually had trouble with the calendar. Um, I did get one made for my mum. And I used their template and the template had the wrong months on it. Uh, so all the months, the days, like the days of the week were all out of whack uh, because the template was for the previous year, but it said it was for the current year. Very poor. But yes, you can get nice wall calendars, the simple ones. Um, and you can get wrapping paper. I didn't even realise I could get wrapping paper. Um, it's quite nice that actually, I might use that. <laughs> It's a nice design, it looks like a jumper. I mean, it'd look a bit weird if I wrapped a present and it had that on it. I suppose that's why they put those things on. Um, what else have we got? Tags, that's quite nice, isn't it? A little gift tag. This, I thought was really adorable. Check this out. This is a miniature business card side, sized Christmas card. I love that. I want to send some of those out. They're really neat. Yeah, I like them a lot. Um, I kind of, I kind of want to do a Christmas card list, like a, an official circus Christmas card list. Um, I can send some Christmas cards out. Hey, if you want to be on the list, do let me know. Um, and maybe they can be these. That would be amazing. Uh, so that's those. What else? This is this is the thing that goes on the tag. They've included that for some bizarre reason. Don't know why. I'm not going to use the tag, are you? The other kind of calendar, there we go, look, that's got the proper hook and the rings, um, so you can have the full page, instead of, uh, what was the other, where's the other one gone? Instead of having it so that it's on the fold, I mean, both, both are totally valid styles of calendar, and both make, make sense in their own way. Um, have you noticed the problem with both these calendars, actually? You can't write on them. There's nowhere to write. Uh... I guess it's just so you know what days of the week are. Hmm, I'm not sure I agree with that. That's kind of the whole point of a calendar to write on it, isn't it? Anyway, I suppose it's just for preview purposes, so it doesn't matter. Um, this was an interesting thing. So, I think the idea is you can fold this up. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do, actually. It's, I'm thinking about it. Now, if if you do fold it up, then you can't see it, so I don't know what this is all about. Are you supposed to be able to stand it up? Is that the idea? Yes, that's clearly the idea. <sighs> um, and this is, like, another sort of desk calendar. You can write on this one, which is quite incredible. Um, and actually, I think... I think... <laughs> I think this is for me, because it's got the print company on it. Come to me first. Uh... I can do more than just this style of print. Um, 
Yeah, so this this would be for my purposes because this has got all the all the current year months as well as next year. So it's kind of like a, a sixteen month calendar, one of those sorts of deals. Yeah, quite nice. Uh, but I guess you can get those printed as well, sort of desk calendar. Um, then we've got just a, a handful of greeting cards. It is nice to have these sample packs because you can see all the different kinds of paper that they do, all of which are vastly more expensive than just the standard paper that they do. Uh, but, you know, you can get this nice pulpy sort of paper. You can see there's there's like bits of grain in it. And it does work really well with the more natural style design. Um... This one's not a particularly good example because it's quite stark, but if you were to have some sort of uh, like black and white photography, I think would work really well on this style of paper. Uh, you've got craft, so that's your brown stuff, which is quite nice for certain aesthetics. Um, I don't know if you can do gold foil on craft, but well, if you could, then that would look really nice. Um... This one's got sort of a bumpy texture, which is quite good. You can barely see it, but it looks a bit like snow. I suppose that's why they put Let It Snow on there. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, this. This is like wallpaper, almost. Can you get an idea of that? You really can't tell, can you? You have to feel it, but it does feel a lot like wallpaper. Unusual. It's called Antique Magnolia. Uh, and then that's just the standard paper, it's got some people on it, and then that's a nice uh, Zeta Wove Cream. That's fancy, isn't it? And it's just like a creamy colour. It does feel really nice, actually. It's got a premium finish to it. It feels feels um, like it'd stand up to some wear and tear, you know? It's, got, it's a good quality card, that. And that's it. So that's the sort of thing that I get through my letterbox every so often. Um... I also get stuff from 4imprint, which is uh, more promotional branded items, actual physical objects. So things like, for example, computer-shaped stress balls. And this one I got quite recently. Um, I was just so fascinated by this item. This is... Hang on, I've got... There you go, look. So that is that, but like the shiny version... <laughs> It's quite good because look, it's got a refill. You can actually refill it. So the top comes off as normal, and you've just got a pen inside. It's the same. It's the same innards as this. Look, but you can pop that out. I think you you can as well with these. You can refill these, but I mean you wouldn't want to because they cost ten p or something. This one you can take the whole ink out and then refill it. It's really cool. I think this is such a good. <laughs> This is just a cool item. I really love this pen. Um, I like the Bic pens as they are. They're quite nice to write with. It might sound like a bit of a philistine saying that, but this is like that, but metal. Very, very nice indeed. So, yes, that's uh, print. I do. I really like print, and uh, I do wish that I could do more print stuff. I mean, I've got the, the sticker book, and I've got my own uh, print ventures, but, you know... Do kind of wish I could do it for other people too and maybe get some money out of it. Anyway, uh, that's that's getting into other business ventures and then that's kind of not what I want to use the vlog for. But Well, it's something to talk about, isn't it? Anyway, that's all from me. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.